Hey everyone, Jenny Hart with the Jenny Hart team at Keller Williams. I am here at First American Title with my buddy Kyle Snyder. We're going to talk a little bit about the market. What I'm feeling right now when I'm taking my buyers out is the FHA buyers, some of the lower price points maybe, the houses last year that we would be bidding on six, seven times, we're getting now in our first offer, sometimes under asking price. So I know that tends to scare a lot of people. Um, oh my God, the market's shifting, we're facing a decline. That's not the case and Kyle's gonna tell you why. Well, thank you, Jenny. Pleasure to be here again with you. Um, we have, in January's numbers that we saw, uh, that came out recently, we saw a few negative numbers, a uh, few fewer sales, uh, a little bit lower average and median price, and that's compared to January of 2018. Uh, we're not used to seeing these red numbers, negative numbers, uh, because year after year, month after month, for the last four or five years, We've been seeing increasing uh, sales, increasing prices, and uh, honestly, it's just not sustainable. So what we're seeing now is not a top or a decline. We're just seeing a little bit of a, a, a difference in January, a little less demand. Um, in with that demand, we're seeing a little bit more supply. So in January, we have 23, 24% more single family homes for sale than we had last year. And we have 45% more attached homes than we had for sale last year. So the demand is pulled back just a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, I have a lot of people, well, we're gonna wait. The market's still increasing. We're gonna wait, we're gonna wait. We're not gonna sell yet. I'm not telling you that your house is gonna decrease in value in the next six months. What I'm telling you is we don't have a crystal ball. We don't know. Is May gonna be 25% slower than it was last year? When people are pricing their homes as of last year, you know, 2016, 17, and 18, if you were the highest priced home on the market, the next home that was listed wanted to be a little bit higher, and the buyers were, they were bidding those houses up. The next one was higher than the other. Right now, if you wanna list your home at 350, and there's a home in your neighborhood that's listed at 349, I'm gonna tell you, you need to be just a little bit below that 349. You need to be the most competitive price-wise because the market is not insanely crazy with people bidding over asking price like it was last year. Last year, even in January, I did have people multiple offer situations with my buyers and my sellers. This year, I have not seen that. Um, I've put four homes under contract in the last week and none of them had very competitive multiple offer situations. That was both buyers and sellers. You know, I think uh, one of the problems is with the uh, public's perception of what's going to happen in the market is our point of reference uh, of the market and what it's been doing for the last four or five years. It's just been going increasing sharply. And so uh, our other point of reference is what happens when it goes the opposite direction. The last time it went the opposite direction, it was the worst recession ever. That it was. The only thing worse than that last recession recession was the depression. Depression, right. And you know, it was so, overnight. Right. Just... What are the chances that happens again? Almost zero mm -hmm. because of our uh, market being built on wealth and not credit, as we've talked about in the past. Mm -hmm. So don't let that fear um, uh, take over what your decision making is because uh, what we're seeing is something that existed before the last recession, uh, it's something that looks a little bit more normal. A little bit up, a little bit down, a little bit up, a little bit down. In the end... Stabilized. <laughs> once you stabilized, in the end, you're still gonna have increasing market values. If you own your home for the next five, 10, 20 years, your house is gonna be worth more than it is today. Absolutely. It's not gonna increase 10% each year, but two to 6% is still fantastic. Uh, Kyle, do you know our average price point right now in Longmont? Uh, single family homes in January of 2019 sold for, on average, $447,030. That's, uh, that's getting expensive. Mm -hmm. Starting to price some people out of the market. So what they do is they, uh, if, if that's just a little too, mon too much on the high side, they tend to gravitate toward attached homes, uh, mm -hmm. townhomes or condos. Uh, or yeah. they come out to the Frederick Firestone Decono mm -hmm. area. 
So uh, an attached home long month, last month sold for, on average, $330,000. So that's a pretty big spread. Significant. Of, mm -hmm, so that's about, what is that, $110,000? So if you want the house, but you don't want to pay the Longmont uh, average price, Firestone, Frederick, and Decono, average price last month, $356,000. That's where the value is in today's market. Nearly $100,000 less to drive <laughs> 20 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that's pretty good. Awesome. Well, we appreciate you guys watching. Um, last week when Kyle and I did our first video together, we've had almost 2,000 views. So you guys must like Kyle's face because I'm sure you're not watching me. <laughs> Uh, if you have questions about the market or if there's something you want us to talk about next time, drop it in the comments, reach out to one of us. We're happy to answer, but I appreciate you and all of your knowledge about the market. Absolutely. My pleasure. All right. You guys have a great week. Thanks. Thank you.